We had a sign of how big an election issue immigration has become. President Biden and former President Trump both visited the southern border today. They traded blame over exactly who's to blame for an influx of migrants coming into the U.S. Connor Hansen has more in Texas. President Biden urging congressional Republicans to pass more border security during a visit to Brownsville, Texas on Thursday. Just five hours away, Donald Trump pointed the finger at Biden, saying it's his open border policies that have led to a record number of migrant crossings in the U.S. This is a Joe Biden invasion. This is a Biden invasion over the past three years. I call him Crooked Joe because he's crooked. He's a terrible president. Ahead of a likely rematch in November, the president and former president made dueling visits to the southern border. In Brownsville, Biden met with Border Patrol agents and local officials, fending off critics who argue the migrant influx has moved elsewhere. Brownsville traditionally has been ground zero for this problem, and it ebbs and flows all across the southern border. 300 miles away, Trump toured the city of Eagle Pass, the center of an ongoing court battle between Governor Greg Abbott and the Biden administration over border security issues, including the placement of razor wire in the Rio Grande. The trips come as a growing number of Americans name immigration as the most important issue facing the country, according to a recent Gallup poll. The policies are just band-aid solutions, so there really isn't um, a clear, concise path for people to make it in here. As the immigration debate continues, a federal judge on Thursday blocked Texas from enforcing a new law that would have made illegal immigration a state crime. In Brownsville, Texas, Connor Hansen, Fox 32, Chicago.